Hello and welcome to The Value of Innovation in Challenging Times. My name is Ben Schreiner. I'm a business development leader here at AWS. and I'm excited to share this topic with you, something that I'm quite passionate about. I suspect all of you have heard this proverb that necessity is the mother of invention. And in these challenging times, certainly uh, this is a time for great uh, opportunity uh, to be inventive. If we have a look here at some, uh, some data uh, provided by uh, our uh, insights, um, disruptive innovation is increasing. So this is looking at the S&P 500 and the duration for a company used to be 33 years uh, and now is projected to only be 12 due to disruptive innovation. Interestingly, McKinsey did a study uh, and nine out of 10 companies believe their industry was set to be digitally disrupted. However, only one in six felt they had the strategy to be that disruption. And I think any of you out there that have been in IT longer than let's say six months can agree that the pace of change uh, is ever increasing um, and it's constant. And so driving that transformation is innovation. We've introduced a mental model here at AWS around a modern digital business that includes customer obsession, innovating, testing and learning, uh, being strategic when you use data, uh, re remote productivity, and finally building a secure and elastic uh, technical foundation. And today we're gonna dive into customer obsession and, uh, and, and innovation. So our mission here at uh, AWS is to be Earth's most customer-centric company. Uh, leaves us a lot of room uh, to grow and be inventive. And we've organized ourselves in a way to be inventive. We have a culture that cultivates innovation and encourages it. We have mechanisms purpose-built to foster innovation. We have architected solutions that allow us to couple things together to be innovative. And we organize our teams to be innovative. And we'll look at each of those. Let's start with our leadership principles. At Amazon, we have 14 critical leadership principles that guide all Amazonians in how we look at problems, how we look at solutions, and really how we tackle our day. And it starts with customer obsession. Every one of us at Amazon is a leader and is empowered to actually seek uh, to better uh, our customer experience by working backwards from our customers. All of these leadership principles play uh, interesting roles. Some of them uh, are, are at, at odds with each other at times. Uh, it's really difficult to be having a bias for action while diving deep, um, you know, but depending on the situation, uh, we apply these principles to, uh, to make the best decisions possible. Which leads us to this, this concept of a one-way or a two-way door. Most decisions are actually two-way doors where you can go through um, and if, uh, if your decision doesn't work out as planned, you can actually undo it or go back. And, and very few decisions are actually one-way doors where once you go through, there is no turning back. And those decisions uh, really do require you to, to dive deep um, and make sure you're making the best decision on behalf of the company uh, and your customers. Uh, but most decisions are two-way doors, and we encourage folks to go through the two-way doors and learn as much as possible. Um, and if it's not working out, uh, put a stop to it, document the learnings, uh, and share it and move on. So when we talk about our innovation process, we have some mechanisms that support our approach. And this concept of working backwards is absolutely critical. It starts with our customer. Uh, we write press releases, which is an artifact that talks about the solution um, after it's been invented uh, and, and shared with the, the public. Uh, we write an FAQ to answer frequently asked questions. And we often provide visuals to, to bring the concept or idea to life. When we think about our customers, it's these five questions uh, that we, we start with, right? Is who really is the customer? Um, what is the customer problem or opportunity? Uh, the most important customer benefit, is it clear? How do we know what the customer needs or wants and really validate that? And then what does the customer experience look like? 
So answering those five questions really sets the tone and gives us a, a good direction. And then we use these artifacts as part of the working backwards process, right? Writing the press release of, uh, of the invention and, and how it'll be perceived in the market and what it does. The FAQ answering the questions, both internal and external questions that we can expect. And you can see here a visualization uh, of the experience uh, or the product itself. I mentioned how we're organized. You'll hear us talk about two pizza teams. And the concept here is uh, organizing autonomous teams where uh, two pizzas would be enough to feed them for lunch. Uh, and it really is around making sure you have the right resources, have the right autonomy, uh, and they own what they build. Uh, and it uh, allows them to be uh, you know, flexible, but also uh, empowered to go make a difference. Jeff Bezos writes our annual shareholder letter. And from 2015, I'll just call your attention to the highlighted area here, which says failure and invention are inseparable twins. To invent, you have to experiment. And if you know in advance, uh, it is uh, going to be, it's going to work. It's not an experiment. Absolutely critical, right? Many times we go forward um, knowing or having a good deal of confidence on what the uh, uh, result is going to be. And, and if you're not um, pushing yourself and actually doing experiments where you don't know, uh, you really aren't learning anything. Um, and, and we've learned a lot. <laughs> we've learned a lot from our failures. Um, but it, it doesn't hold us back, right? So when we learn from our failures, uh, things like our, our, uh, we had an auction site for a while, uh, we had a Z shop, um, all, both of those uh, didn't really pan out, uh, but they did create uh, a need or an opportunity for our marketplace. So taking the learnings from those two previous failures allowed us to apply those learnings into our marketplace, which now has thousands of offerings um, you know, for our customers. Uh, and then there's the Fire Phone. How many of you out there have the Fire Phone? Um, obviously uh, a joke, but uh, the, uh, the learnings from uh, that failure, which uh, resulted in a, 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 a fairly significant um, you know, write-off, um, uh, created uh, or funded a lot of our Alexa team. So many of the folks and a lot of the learnings from uh, that first foray uh, into the phone business led to uh, now what we all have uh, in, our, in our homes uh, with Alexa. And then here's a risky bet. I love this uh, Business Week uh, uh, cover, right? And you see here uh, the, the Amazon's risky bet. Uh, and Wall Street was telling us, uh, uh, why don't you stick to what you know, which is the retail business and e-commerce and making that profitable. Um, but instead, uh, we took a chance uh, and created uh, the cloud and the AWS platform. And this last quarter, our, our quarterly results were $11.6 billion. Uh, we have 175 uh, full-featured uh, services and millions of active monthly customers. Uh, a great example of being innovative and taking a risk uh, and having a, a great result. So digital innovation is about creating new products and services. Uh, it's about exploring and innovating uh, based on our principles. Uh, it's about defining uh, new products and processes and really challenge yourself to work backwards from your customers, their needs and wants and the opportunities, and then bring those things to life. Um, and it's a collaboration between ourselves, our partners, uh, and, and you, the customer, to really explore what's possible. Um, you bring together uh, you know, the right stakeholders, uh, you create the right environment, uh, and then you empower the teams to go create and learn from those experiences. And if you're able to iterate quickly uh, and able to build on those experiences, you're able to create uh, new products that can lead to uh, new market innovations, um, new customer acquisition, uh, new service offerings, uh, and overall, uh, it creates an environment of learning uh, and collaboration uh, where many, uh, both employees uh, and customers, uh, uh, become uh, a great deal more successful. I think all companies need to continue to innovate, uh, and many companies are pushing themselves, um, and we have a great process here. It's not for everyone. This is what works for us. I'm hopeful that some of these concepts are of interest and maybe that uh, are, are things you could use. Uh, and if you're interested to learn more about it, we're happy to engage. I want to thank you for your time and attention. And there'll be a short survey at the completion uh, of this video. Thanks for watching.